Hey then, I'm Arvazi and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Ireland. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I need some more research elements, which means I need more gold. I also need to pick my ideology soon, and that's going to be a tough choice. Mostly because Ramkham Trollface went for autocracy, and ideologies are all over the place. I think I'll have to go for order, because order will give me the most easy happiness. And I will get ideology pressure no matter what. Oh, okay, Morocco attacked William. A lot of the AIs are at war with each other right now, which is good for me, I suppose. And wow, that's a troll city by Morocco. Yeah. Speaking of troll cities, this Ethiopian settler is still here, but he can't actually start a city right now. So, hopefully he'll get out of here. The only valid location left is on top of the stone, and I can block that. If he tries to move there. So I'm safe. He won't start an troll city around here. Other than that, I'm still working on my science and production and a military. But I'm not sure if I can actually do anything about Korea. The problem is that this will be a long distance war. Which is never easy. If I actually want to start a long distance war... I'm going to need some entire aircraft guns, which means I need to research ballistics. Or I would need a city somewhere around here with fighters. And that's not easy either. I can't really start a city around here myself. I can't really capture anything unless I attack a city state, but that would piss off Ram Control Face. And he's my neighbor, he's also fairly strong. So that's not such a good idea. I don't know, we'll see. It will be problematic. I could try to take a city from William, for example. But William has great war bombers. I would need to get at least flight. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. We'll see. I'm working on my military slowly. Because I will attack someone, that's for sure. I might have to attack Williamson and try to take a city close to Korea to get fighters in that city. Maybe. I could get a few other AIs to attack William and then attack him myself at the same time. That would be doable, probably. But first I need to build up my military, which I've been working on. I also need more research elements. Hopefully soon. As for the scout, he needs to go north or whatever. Okay, I got some more iron. So I'll be able to sell that. Can I get a research element with the ram? I need 48 more gold. I'm just going to wait one or two turns. I could sell coal for 67 to someone. Yeah, I can do that. Yep, he's going to buy coal. So 67 gold. Now I can get research element with the RAM. Like so. Okay, so I have two research elements right now. I could still use more, but I obviously need gold for that. I think one of my trades for luxuries will expire soon. So that should be 360. I think that's incense. Because I have two copies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Or one of my silk trades. I'm finishing my second archaeologist, so maybe my culture will be okay. I want to get rationalism finisher ASAP, so I need two more policies to make that happen. No longer friends with Colombo, okay. That's kind of annoying. I do have a spy in there. He needs five more turns to rigel elections. I also need three more turns to steal a tech from William. Now, I know he has flight, because he has great war bombers. So I should be able to steal steam power from him. I don't know if he has radio. He doesn't have any buildings that would indicate that. So I went for the safe option, and I'm researching radio myself. I'll just steal steam power from William. Unless he has something like refrigeration, but I don't think so. Yes, yeah, Sejong built yet another wonder. It's not looking great. Sejong is like 5 or 6 stacks ahead. 
of any other AI right now. I'm actually mostly on par with everyone except Korea. I'm not really behind anymore. Everyone is behind Korea, that's the problem. Korea in this game made this game objectively less interesting. So, gold, Amsterdam. And right, I finished my first oil well. And I'm getting a cargo ship in Waterford. And my border expanded to that antiquity site, which means I don't need that unit anymore. Alright, next. If there's one wonder I need to get, it's Hubble Space Telescope. But I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get a great engineer. I might have to faith buy a great engineer. And that's the incense trade I was talking about. Yeah, I might have to faith buy a great engineer if I want to get the Hubble Space Telescope. And I'll have to beeline for satellites. It's still going to be tough because Korea is prioritizing science, kind of. But I need to try at least. If Korea gets Hubble Space Telescope, I'm kind of screwed. Farm. And yeah, now he finished the Manhattan Project, which means he has Atomic Theory. One more thing for archaeologists. All right. Six turns to get that iron, and that's only two iron, but that should be 135 gold. And I still want more research elements. I'll get one triggering with Askia. So I'll have to pick my ideology in six turns. That's probably going to be order. Mostly because order will give me a lot of easy happiness. And I will get ideology pressure no matter what. There's no real way to avoid that. Ideologies are all over the place. And my tourism output is just dreadful. So what can I steal? What? Oh, this is not working again. Really? Okay. Oh. I did steal the refrigeration after all. Okay. But that screen was clearly not working. And this seems to be because of the latest version of Enhanced User Interface. I might have to disable Enhanced User Interface temporarily. Until the next version or something like that. Because this glitch can actually prevent you from playing without a restart. If you steal the same technology you're researching. Because then the tech screen will just get stuck on this. And not allow you to pick your tech. That already happened to me once. And this never happened before. I only updated to the recent version before this game. So I'm pretty sure that's because of enhanced user interface. Anyway, I might send that spy to one of the Korean cities. Not to their capital, because they probably have a spy in there. But I could send a spy to Bosan. Maybe. He can't have a spy in every single city. So that might work. Let's try at least. Off you go. And let's continue. So, I actually stole refrigeration. That's not bad. I'm going to need some submarines. If I want to use battleships in this game. The problem with using battleships against Korea. Is that it will take, I don't know, at least 20 turns to actually get here. Maybe even more than that. So that's a lot of turns. And I'll need a submarine escort too. So, it won't be easy. Okay, ideology. So, I think I'll have to go for order. Which means I shouldn't be attacking William. I was kind of thinking about attacking William. I'm not going for autocracy because that makes no sense whatsoever. Which means I will upset Ramham Trollface. I don't really want freedom either because... Well, there's no reason for me to go freedom. Let's check ideology pressure. Well, order is technically the strongest ideology right now. So, it makes sense to go for order. Alright, let's go for order. Whatever. So, that's that. I'm at one happiness at the moment. Cork. 
Got 11 population. I still got some farms here. That will obviously reduce production, but I want that city to grow a bit more than this. Okay. Oh, my archaeologist is done. Nice. Let's send him to get that antiquity site then. My factory will be done in five turns. I might drop into negative happiness for a bit. We'll see about that. I can still buy one luxury. Yep, from Askia. So picking order will give me a boss with Korea and with William. William is actually not doing so great. And I didn't really need a boss with Korea, but whatever. Yeah, minus 10 happiness. But as I said, it was unavoidable. I was going to get ideology pressure no matter what. This is why I often get tourism in my games. This is why I always get some tourism in my games. I get questions about that very frequently. I couldn't do it in this game due to my very low production start. But this is the exact reason why you generally want to get some tourism in every single game, regardless of which victory type you're going for. Because of ideology pressure. So now I have to buy some luxury from someone. For 9 gold per 10, I guess. Will he buy horses? No, he doesn't care about my horses. I could sell oil if I'm really desperate. I could trade oil for crab or something. Alright, let's do that for now. And then I can buy another luxury. Will he buy horses? No. He won't buy horses. Okay, I'll buy gold for 9 gold per 10. Like so. That's minus 2. I got a zoo queued up in Limerick. I will finish that factory in 4 turns. And then I need a Kaylee Hall. That's for sure. Before anything else, really. But that will still take 14 turns. Oh, this was my existing trade, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, he will buy horses. Alright, that's good. Let's see, 1 gold per turn. Probably 2 gold per turn. Alright. Well, this is not fantastic. Let's just say. I never actually built Circus Maximus, so I can get that. It's a little bit too late to work on tourism right now. I often build the Eiffel Tower to solve this kind of problem. But it was gone before I even got the tech for it. So that's not really an option. Colombo election rigged. Oh yeah, I needed that. But I need to get allied with Colombo. This is not enough. I could give them 500. Alright, let's do it. I need that influence. First influential culture. And that's Korea, isn't it? Yep, Korea. They were the leader. For most of this game, in terms of tourism at least. So, 3 turns for that factory. 5 turns for the zoo. Does this city have an amphitheater? Yes, it does. So, Kelly Hall, after the zoo. The garden will have to wait. What about Cork? No, I want to continue the cannons, no matter what. I can buy something from Ethiopia. Copper. I'll just trade for 9 gold per 10. I don't have a big choice here, I need the luxuries. And I can actually sell my silk. Yep. For 360? He should pay me 360. Yeah, he will. Okay, I still want more research elements. On top of also buying luxuries. So, who's at war with who? William is at war with Songhai, Morocco, Siam and Spain. He's at war with pretty much everyone. If I want to attack him at any point, this is the best moment to do so. But I would obviously need to upgrade my units. Oh yeah, I need open borders if I want to go through here. Well, I might as well get open borders. I should get open borders with everyone. 
But right now, my tourism isn't really enough to make open borders worth it. I got literally four tourism birds here. Oh, seriously, I got yet another great merchant. I got really screwed with the great people from my unique ability in this game. I got three great merchants, which significantly delayed my scientists and engineers. It's not even about not getting scientists or engineers. Getting a great artist or musician or whatever would have been better than three great merchants. Yeah. That delayed my engineers and scientists a lot. So that really sucks. That hurt me in this game a lot, actually. That was really unfortunate. And now I got yet another great merchant. Awesome. Not. Oh well. I'll deal with it because I do plan to finish this game no matter what. Let's see, research. Well, now I have to research steam power. And then go for plastics. I need research labs ASAP. If I don't want Korea to get even further ahead. Yeah, if I look at the tech ranking, I'm only two technologies behind the second most advanced AI. I'm pretty much on par with other AIs now. Korea is the exception. Korea is five techs ahead of second most advanced AI now. And it will be tough to deal with Korea. William made peace. Oh, that's just with a city-state, not with an actual AI. He's going to have a bad time. So, eight turns for my second artillery. Who adopted ideology? Oh, Spain went for autocracy. I should have expected that. That might mean ideology pressure. Even more ideology pressure. Yeah, I'm at civil resistance. That's not great. Yep. That's not good. Oh well, I'll deal with it. So what about that great merchant? I'll use him for influence with Colombo, I suppose. Because I want to stay allied with Colombo. I'm not even allied with Colombo anymore. Ethiopia, 60 influence ahead of me? Seriously? How the heck did that happen? They had to complete, like, two quests. And bribe them. That's annoying. I'm at literally one happiness. Not good. And I want to finish rationalism. Which means I don't really want to pick any tennis in order right now. I want my rationalism finisher ASAP. So I don't think I'm going to pick any tennis right now. Yes, accept. I need the money. I still want more research arguments. I could get free research agreements right now if I had enough money for all of that. Morocco has enough gold, so I'll start from Morocco. Let's have a chant. So, research agreement. Yep. Easy enough. Now I need two more. You will go to Colombo. That will take five turns. Well, whatever. I guess it will take five turns. I finished the Aaron. I just sold Aaron. So what about this guy now? I'm still going to need one worker around the Limerick, I guess. I can get one more mine. Cargo ship. I could send it to Wittenberg, but there's no point. I can't get allied with that city-state. I'll just use it for gold per turn. Yeah. And another cargo ship, that's going to be gold per turn too. So that's 44. As for that public school, I might need happiness more than that. Heli Hall in here? Probably. I should also get a musician's guild. And artist guild. But I'll have a lot of slots for great works of music. So might as well start from musician's guild. This game was just really bad luck, I have to say. This game would be very different. Even with Korea in it. If I got different great people from my unique ability. So in this case, RNG of this ability hurt me more than it helped. And I had that stupid settler. 
I mean, sure, I started a city that gave me some gold, but getting a great scientist or engineer or even a great artist, writer or musician would have been better than a settler at that point. And getting a settler from that ability was clearly a bug, because that was not supposed to happen. Plus one, yeah, I let it work, the mine. And build a Kelly Hall in here after that amphitheater. Yep. I'm focusing on happiness right now. Again, because I want Rationalist Finisher. I can still build Oxford. I might get plastics with Oxford. Yeah, that would be doable. Nine turns. Yeah, I think I'll get plastics with Oxford. I need research labs ASAP. So that's the best plan. Plus one pop in Dublin. Another cargo ship. So send that to Gondar. And Kaylee Hall in here. Yep. Plus one in Dublin. Which one is that? This one. 15 turns. 14 turns. But I will delay the Kelly Hall? No, I won't. Okay, let's work the incense then. That's also a little bit of gold. I still need more research elements. Team power is almost done. Ethiopia completed Statue of Liberty. So, replaceable parts. And I'll time my Oxford University with replaceable parts. That's the plan. So that means I'll be building it after the Kelly Hall. That's what it means. So there's steam power. And let's just queue up Oxford right away. Like that. Keep exploring. I'll get some money from that great merchant. I guess I'll use that money for research agreements. Yeah. Might as well. But I would still prefer a scientist or an engineer, obviously. Oh, I need... No, never mind. I thought I need one more archaeologist, but no. I'll need to work that tile once my archaeologist is done building a landmark. And zero happiness. Not good. But I'll get extra happiness in a few turns. Send that scout north. That merchant won't actually be enough to get allied with Colombo. I'll just have to bribe Colombo on top of using a great merchant. So that's not so good. But if that's what I need to do, then that's what I'll do. How's my spy? 14 turns to rig elections. 38 turns to steal something from William, but 18 turns to steal something from Korea. I could send my other spy to the other Korean city that's not his capital. Yeah, I could do that. He has three cities over 20 population right now, including his capital. He will have a spy in his capital, but he might not have spies in his other cities. Let's do it then. If I manage to steal some text from him, that would be great. So, humanism. It's tempting to take happiness, but no. I really need Rashtonist finisher. So, humanism. And keep moving here. Oh yeah, I can scout this area a bit. Let's get that influence, 30 influence and 1200 gold. Alright. And now I might as well grab Colombo to get allied. I would have to give them 750. I might just wait for my spy. That's 13 turns. I could try to stage a call, but I have 45% chance to fail and lose my influence. So that's not worth it. I'll just wait. Unless I drop significantly into the negatives. Which I shouldn't. 
Unless I get to higher tier of public opinion, of negative public opinion. Or lower in tier in this case. My happiness should be fine once I complete all these scaly halls. That's plus 9 happiness from these three. Some deal with William ended. What was that? Oh yeah, silk. Okay. Does he have the money? Kind of. Okay, I'll take gold and one gold per 10. What? 315? 310? There we go. That's fine by me. That's almost 2000. I might have to save that money to buy a research lab. In my capital at least. I'll need a research lab in my capital ASAP. So I think I'll have to save that gold. For now. Cork. What do I need in Cork? Well, I need a lot of things in Cork, but I need more units, that's for sure. I need more artillery. So I'll focus on that. One more turn. How's the production queue in here? There's no production queue? Okay. No, there should be a production queue. What? Oh, it's bugged. Really? Oh, it wasn't expanded for some reason. Well, finish the Kelly Hall. And then... I could use a harbor, I could use a market. But after Oxford University... There's the landmark. Now I need to work that tile. Instead of this, I suppose. At least that's worth a lot of culture now. Mostly because historical landmarks passed in the Congress. 25 turns for artillery is probably a bit too much. I will switch the city to production once it grows a bit more. So let's check the tech ranking now. Yeah, I'm at 53, Morocco is at 55, Siam is at 53, Korea is at 60. I would be more than fine if Korea wasn't in this game. <laughs> Well, I probably wouldn't be more than fine, or at least winning this game would still be pretty tough, but it would be more than doable. It's still technically doable. It just won't be easy, and as I said, Korea made this game objectively less interesting, in my opinion. At least the way I see it, it's just kind of boring. Turning a game into a catch-up with Korea, basically, because that's what it is. If Korea wasn't in this game, I could focus on more fun things. Oh well. I will finish it. Cargo ship to Casablanca. I got a great writer, yay? That's plus to tourism. Okay. What about these research elements? I think I want to save my gold for that research lab. I need a research lab in Dublin as soon as I finish plastics. Let's do one turn of harbor, then switch back to Oxford. And the research lab will cost me 1800 gold. So that's a lot of gold, but I plan to buy that in Dublin as soon as I finish plastics. And I'll get a rationalism finisher in 31 turns. Sejong! Declared war on Askia, okay. This would be a good moment to bribe someone to attack Sejong, like Ethiopia. I would bribe Ethiopia to attack Korea. No, they won't do it. Okay. Yeah, they won't do it no matter what. Okay, whatever. Never mind. I could try to bribe Spain. Again, maybe. Oh, the city got raised, apparently. Okay. So what about Spain? Spain is still at war with William. Oh, they will do it. And they aren't asking for a lot. They still value iron, which is gold. Let's pay them. Two gold per ten. Two iron and two gold per ten to start a war with Korea? <laughs> That's a very good deal. I'm more than okay with that. So, 
Water for is a ten population now. Okay. And yet its production is still kind of bad. I can get that quarry, but that would be amazing. The city is not amazing, but without the city I would have zero oil. So I'm glad I started it. That was one of the reasons I started it. Tanja is good terrain for oil. It's not a very good terrain for cities, but there's usually some oil in Tanja. And there's a lot of oil in this area. Five oil sources. And I got two of them. Sejong is plotting against William. Well, that's not very surprising. Can I afford to just buy this tile? I guess I can. Alright, let's buy it. I'll still have enough money for that research lab. Oh, also I should switch. Well, I'll just let that harbor finish because I need the money. So I'll let it finish and then continue to Oxford. Delaying that public school by three turns is not really a big deal. Come on. William made peace with Morocco. But he's still at war with who? With Songhai and Spain. They don't like him too much. Great war bomber. At least my happiness should be okay for now. I'm finishing some more Kelly Halls. Let's take a look around here. Oh, I should just get open borders with William. We have the same ideology. So might as well. I can scout his territory a bit. Great war bombers. Next. Right, this should give me some extra money. I didn't really have the time to build a harbor area. I was busy with a lot of other things. Where is this archaeologist going? I don't have any more antiquity sites in my territory. Unfortunately. I wish I did because that would be worth quite a lot of culture. Especially with historical landmarks active. Okay, 59 gold per 10. And I need 9 turns to get plastics. So I'll get my research lab in 9 turns. I could probably speed it up by switching this tree to full production. Okay, I could get it in 6 turns. Well, maybe a little bit more because I want to work these high yield tiles. 7 turns. Okay, let's just get it in 7 turns then. Then I'll switch the city back to food. But also, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.